run it, run it, run it. I had to run it, run it, run it, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, it's been oh, yeah. I had to run it, run it, run it, huh. run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it huh. I put the block and I gun it. Huh. Rags to riches, I done it. Bags to bitches, I want it. Wanna have fun in the city, we stun it. We never fold under pressure, no run it. Top of the trouble, you know that we coming. We get some racks and we gon' start dumbing. We gotta go with it till we start drumming. We get it straight at the mud, we had nine. Call up a hot boy, they coming, they rushing. Catching no love to it, and no trusting. This morning was rough. It was just, it was just rough. I love hunting in like the little misty, like cool morning. It's like 45 degrees outside right now. Like, what do you think about it? I think I'm mad enough. I'm gonna stay and hunt the evening. That's how I feel. You heard? As you can see, Christian and I were fresh out of ideas after a long Thanksgiving weekend with nothing to show for it. As a last ditch effort, we decided to go to an area that had heavy deer traffic in hopes of lucking out and catching a buck chasing a doe during the heat of the rut. While setting up our stands, Christian had a face-to-face -face encounter he would never forget. How close did you just get to double D right there? Seven yards. I thought he was just gonna walk on up there to me. He was at seven yards right there. I'm hanging my climber. Look, we were just standing here talking, all right? I'm like, hang my climber. I'm like, deer. My knees start shaking. And I was like, all I could, I was like, double D. Oh my God. I was like, I can't miss this opportunity for my phone. He ain't got nothing on his mind, but the thing that gets people in trouble. <laughs> Dog, gone oh, trying to keep it PG for YouTube. How'd that feel getting that close to a deer that big? I ain't gonna be right when I go back to Georgia. There's several things that happened this morning that just tell us that there's signs that we need to hunt this afternoon. I think that might be one of them too. We're excited for this hunt this afternoon. We're gonna go ahead and get uh, get this climber quickly set up, make sure everything's ready to go. Should be an exciting hunt this evening. We'll see y'all. And wouldn't you know it, our plan actually worked. We had deer surrounding us within minutes of getting up in the trees. Now, we just had to stay patient and wait for the right buck to make a mistake. Not too long after the first deer started coming in, we had a nice three-year-old come by followed by a buck we had never seen before. He was pushing the other deer around, making scrapes, and overall asserting his dominance in front of every deer around. This mystery buck was extremely smart, but I knew if we got the right opportunity, tonight would be his last dance. Nope. I was frustrated trying to get the buck to stand still long enough to deliver a good shot. I had a hot doe under my tree, and knowing that's exactly what he wanted, I was hopeful he would come back around and make the fatal mistake. You see him? He's down. Yeah, 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 yeah. He down, son. He's down. He down. Yeah. Ain't no mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That deer is history. Dude, I'm looking at him right now. I'm looking at him. Is he down? Is he down? Didn't go 20. Dude, I'm freaking out. That's the most intense hunt of my life. My boy is tagged out. Hell of a shot, bud. Hell of a shot. Well, I'm right here ready to freak out. 
Yeah. Look at all this blood. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That's what there I you saw. Go. That, yeah, there's the That's what I saw. <laughs> he ran off. What well, I think it was his opposite leg that was kind of dragging. So I definitely thought I undershot him, but like your arrow's still in him. This is the best I've ever seen. Yeah, look right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> you punched goodness. his freaking ticket, bud. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the best quarter and away shot I've ever seen. This is exactly so, what we were trying to get out of here. Look. Yep. Broke one off. Had a little kicker on the side. I didn't see that before. That deer is old though, man. He is, isn't he? Rage, you did not sponsor us by any means, but you punched the ticket. <laughs> We've been waiting to shoot a mature deer that was not the most impressive, like we're a management deer. No one would ever shoot this deer as a trophy here. I could go to sleep knowing that we shot this deer at his prime or maybe even past his prime, who knows. We needed to get him out before he bred any doe. He was chasing super hard. He chased yellow tag doe, uh, blue tag doe, I mean, Give a meaning of the yellow tag and blue tag, like a quick little description. Yellow, yellow tags are four and a half year olds, blue tags are three and a half. Hey Grammy, what's up? Hey, I love you to death. Um, I'm holding a deer right now, uh, a buck. <laughs> All right, love you, talk to you later. <laughs> Dude, screw that camera, give me some love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go, like, baby. There were several indications that we needed to be in the woods this evening. We had hunted hard all weekend long. Christian went in there and shot Friday morning and then there was just not the same, not the same effect, not the same amount of deer coming in there. Just something was wrong. That's not how we wanted to end the weekend. Coincidentally, what my mom texted yeah. me and she was like, hey, I know you're heading home today. She said, bad weather's coming through here. Should be gone by late afternoon. Soon as she said that, I Michael texted me. He's like, would you want to hunt this afternoon? I don't know, it's weird. It happened so like within seconds of each other. And I was like, that's, that's different. But of course I wanted to hunt. I got to see Double D coming here this afternoon. And this deer was just face to face with the biggest deer on the farm and he wasn't backing down. He was making scrapes and everything else while Double mm -hmm. D was standing there eating. There's no one else that I'd rather have here to share this moment with. Dude, and I mean that, for real. It's been a absolute blast, bro. Yeah, man, it's, it's, been, it's been a blast. It's been real. Anyways, y'all subscribe to Life of Mike and y'all be ready for Rich Outdoors coming soon. Yes, we'll sir. We'll see y'all around. See ya. This is a blessing. We're, we're here. Life of Mike, let's go. Yeah. Out here live at Cody Island. Oh, my zipper's down. <laughs>